Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll share with you an amazing hair growth treatment for thicker, longer and healthier looking hair. So if you're interested, be sure to keep on watching and watch till the end of the video. Thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really appreciate your love and support. If it's your first time here and you're into natural hair DIYs, definitely click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content from me guys. And also guys, please thumbs up this video it really helps you know push my videos forward so i really appreciate it so let's hop into the video guys i thought i would introduce in this video basically where i get my aloe vera from i do get asked this question quite a lot in the comment section of my videos and i thought you know i'm basically gonna, gonna record it you know when i go and buy it so i usually get it from my afro-caribbean food store or Indian store you know local to me and I usually find it pretty much at the bottom of the shelves okay <laughs> I kind of know where it is when I go to the store I literally just go right to that section and the way to know you got the good or the best aloe vera without even like seeing it is just by feeling it okay so if it feels nice and thick when you're pressing it and also bouncy you kind of know that it's still nice and fresh when it's dry you can you can certainly certainly tell even without opening you know the paper that they used to wrap it with but i was opening it in the shop guys just to show you basically what it looks like and i usually pick the one at the bottom of the rack i don't know like i'm just one of those people that when i go to the store i don't pick the one that's right in front of me because i feel like they put the one that's either ready to expire or maybe it's drier you know at the front just so it can go a bit quickly let me know guys in the comment section below if you do the same okay <laughs> um so yeah we're now ready to use this aloe vera you can see how it's looking nice and fresh um yeah really really good i was happy with this purchase now aloe vera is great for our hair guys because it contains vitamin a c and e and these are vitamins that are known to contribute to cell turnover it promotes healthy cell growth and shiny hair it also has vitamin b12 and folic acid and these are actually known to keep our hair from falling out now aloe vera is definitely one of the amazing natural ingredients that have been shown to help you know promote healthy hair growth and as i always say guys if you're not allergic to it definitely find ways to incorporate it into your hair regimen because you will definitely reap the benefits now for this recipe you can see pretty much the quantity of the aloe vera that i used you can use more if you want to or you can use less um, so I just decided to just use this small bit and then cut it into smaller pieces get the gel out of it and then we're going to go ahead and blend it now I've shown so many times on this channel how I make aloe vera juice it's nice and simple um, so after you blended it guys just go ahead and strain it okay you can use a sieve just like I'm doing here or you can use a tea towel or a stocking cap or anything that you've got now if you're using a sieve just let that sit and allow it to drain on its own now our next ingredient will be some avocados now avocado is a great source of biotin and also the minerals in avocado oil uh, including things like potassium and magnesium are actually known to seal the cuticle cells which can help our hair look smoother shinier and also prevent it from breaking now i used a small avocado here because that's all i had um but if you got a bigger one definitely you know consider using it avocado is one of those things that are also really great for conditioning the hair now our next ingredient will be some banana i used about one banana i didn't use the whole thing because it was quite a big banana and i didn't want to make too much of this to then have to think about what to do to store it if that makes sense i usually make this and i use it to you know immediately and then we'll go in with some moringa powder now moringa is a powerhouse ingredient seriously like it's just so great it's so full of vitamins antioxidants minerals like zinc and these are actually known to um promote essential healthy hair product production and also it helps sort of boost keratin 
which is you know the protein that is in our hair it restores strength promotes healthy hair growth and repairs damage as well now after that guys i just added my aloe vera juice and then i'm going to go in with a bit of yogurt now this is optional you don't necessarily have to include this if you don't want to just those four ingredients i showed you earlier on were just enough but i just wanted to you know give this a bit a little bit more protein pretty much now yogurt is definitely good for hair as well guys because it cleanses the scalp it clears away dead skin cells it helps the hair follicles growth which is definitely amazing um so i just went ahead and blended everything together until it was a nice smooth consistency and this is basically what i ended up with guys so not too thick not too runny just the perfect consistency pretty much um i guess if you add a little bit more aloe vera juice to this you might end up with a slightly runnier consistency which wouldn't actually be bad to be honest because i had to add water to my hair before adding this so i'm just showing you guys how i'm applying this to my hair as you can tell my hair is extremely dry um i did use what's that called again amla powder um for the first time on my hair and thank you so much guys i had so many recommendations on that video about how to use it properly and the next time that i use it i will definitely take those into consideration um yeah so i used that and then my hair what i don't know my hair felt really nice and moisturized at first when i rinsed it off like i said before it felt as though it was kind of dry and then after like a few minutes it felt soft and then when my hair like now completely dried it was so hard like this is basically you know um i had to like use um a, a leave-in conditioner that I, I made again like a diy to sort of put the moisture back in it but it still didn't feel you know really really soft anyway so i just thought i needed this treatment just to restore the moisture back to my hair again um so yeah so pretty much this is why but well, this is why my hair is looking like this because it is um it's not really like dirty dirty like that to be honest but i just feel like it needed this treatment just for extra moisture and also like extra nourishment if that makes sense so i parted my hair into like you know smaller sections here because i usually work in sections it's just easier and then i sprayed my hair with some water now the reason why i did that is because like i said my hair at this point is a very dry and very um what's the word i'm looking for like yeah very brittle as well like i just don't know i just think that amla powder was probably just a bit too strong um for my hair because of the way that i used it so i will try it again but you know using the recommendations that you guys left me so thank you so much so yeah i'm just applying that to my hair here guys just making sure that you know every single bit of my hair is covered and also i'm concentrating on my ends because it's usually the you know the driest and the oldest part of my hair and then after i did that i'm just going to twist it and then wrap it around itself um just to prevent it from drying out while i work on the next section now on my previous video um that i made about a hair growth mask again you know some of you guys were wondering why i wasn't applying it to my scalp i forgot to say in that video you can certainly apply it to your scalp guys even this treatment you can apply to your scalp sometimes i don't apply treatments to my scalp especially when it comes to mask if it feels too heavy because i don't want to have you know any kind of build up that's usually after i've washed my hair okay so if i wash my hair and it's nice and clean and it's fresh i don't usually want to have to apply you know any kind of product to my scalp to cause build up and cause me to have to wash my hair again like within a short while um so that's why perhaps in that video i wasn't really applying it so much to my scalp and even here i'm not really concentrating so much on my scalp because you know i just want my hair to be kind of soft to restore it back to the state that it was before i used the amla powder um so that's why i'm not really focusing so much on the scalp here but this uh mixture is definitely amazing uh for hair growth because it's got great ingredients in them 
amazing packed full with vitamins antioxidants nutrients that you can certainly benefit from if you applied it to your scalp okay so go ahead and apply it to your scalp and just you know make sure you rinse it very well so yeah that's that for that part now at this point i had finished applying this to my hair guys and i'm just using the remainder of that um just applying it to the rest of my hair and also focusing on my edges you know them, them edges we need to take care of them guys sometimes we forget them but trust me if you're one of those that do treatments to your hair and forget your edges like <laughs> You need to remember them edges okay remember them edges because they're really fragile especially mine like you know so yeah we're gonna going to apply that to, to that area as well and then i'm gonna go on to put a plastic bag on and i'm gonna leave it for about three hours now you can use this uh, you can leave this overnight as well if you want to uh, it's entirely up to you so this is basically what my hair looks like three hours later it felt so good and moisturized guys really really nice to the touch I was already very happy with this I just needed to uh, rinse this off my hair and basically just see what my hair looks like but I was already very happy so I just went ahead and unraveled those knots that I did and then I rinsed my hair with uh, warm water and this is basically what my hair looks like guys usually when I rinse my hair my twist gets undone so I just thought you know what I'm just gonna undo everything just to show you what it looks like and this is what it looks like really nice moisturized it's got so much volume as well it looks really nice and shiny I was really really happy Happy with this now the one thing that I would say though guys is that when you rinse this off your hair make sure that you rinse it properly because of the moringa powder in it um, I realized later after recording this clip that I had some moringa powder left in my strands just like you can see here so I had to go ahead and rinse this off again um, so yeah do make sure that you spend your time rinsing it really well just so you can get rid of everything um, yeah this is pretty much it for me today guys you can see how amazing my hair is looking it's got so much volume so much bounce really nice and shiny really moisturized so really really good i would definitely recommend that you try this treatment guys and let me know what you think in the description box um so yeah this is pretty much it for me today thank you so much for watching and if you made it to the end of the video i really appreciate it and also guys don't forget to thumbs up the video it's really important and subscribe if you're not already and i'll catch you in my next video bye